Hello everyone, welcome back to a brand new Tech Reviews and Gadgets episode where today we're reviewing a battery powered security camera. And you guys are currently watching Krilly. Today's episode, we're reviewing a security camera from the company Heme Vision, and this is the model Freed 3. And let me just tell you that this security camera, not only is it waterproof, it's also battery enabled. So what that means is you don't need to supply power constantly. There's a built-in battery that you can actually charge up with this security camera. There's also a lot of specifications and details that this camera supplies, such as you know infrared night vision, has motion detection, it has cloud storage, and it also has an SDTF card slot that you can support up to 120 eight gigabytes if you want to go that method and you know it's a wild free installation so you can easily get it up and running but before we actually get started with this tech reviews and gadgets episode make sure you guys go down below and hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications on to get updates and alerts whenever we do upload have any questions or concerns about this product make sure you guys go down below and leave a comment as I reply and read every single comment I do receive so if you have any inquiries about this security camera make sure you guys go down below and leave them and then if you also enjoyed this video I'd greatly appreciate it if you went down below and also left a like as that just greatly informs me and keeps me updated if you guys are enjoying this tech series and then also if you're interested in getting more details or information about this product product information and specifications will be down below in the description for you guys to check out so if you need more details about that kind of info go down below in the description and you'll see all that kind of info but right Right now, what we're gonna do is actually move over to the first look and unboxing portion of this video. So you guys can see the overall packaging of the security camera is pretty sophisticated. As I spin it around, you guys can see there is a lot of details on the side of the box, which we are gonna take a closer look at with a secondary camera angle. So as you guys can see on the front of the box, it just says Heme Vision. it's a battery camera, and this is the model Free 3. This is how the picture or representation of the uh, camera actually looks like. And we got some few specifications on the bottom right here. On this side, this is where you need to actually install the application so they do give you guys a QR code that you can install this application um, right here on Google Play or on the Apple Apple Store and then on this side there's a few specifications and details which you guys could take a pause and read if you're interested in that kind of information and then on this side it just has some of the key features listed out um, such as it being waterproof and has two-way audio so now what we're gonna do is actually slide this box out so we could take a look at the contents that are inside this Heme Vision battery camera. We're gonna pull this box up just like so. This is how the camera looks like straight from its packaging. It's made out of plastic, but it's really durable. We also got a threaded base at the bottom right here. And also right here, we have a compartment for all our different ports such as um, DC micro USB cable, our SD slot, and I'm pretty sure that's our reset button and also our power on button on the back as well. But do keep in mind, close this up when you're not using it because if water gets into those ports it will damage the camera and we also have a speaker on the back and this little thing as well but overall you guys can see that's our proximity sensors and also the lens for this camera we're gonna put it off to the side for now and take a look at what's also included with the packaging we get some screws and brackets that we can utilize with the installation process we also got some 3m sticky tape that we can actually utilize to stick this onto the side of our house we also get included with some plate so I'm guessing that's probably what this is this goes oh so it's actually magnetic whoa okay I was not expecting that so this ball 
you guys can actually use it with the installation process of this security camera. You would just need to stick it in like that and then you can now you can use 3M tape or you can use your screws and brackets and hook this up to the side of your house so you can have this kind of hanging um, off the side of your house. So that's kind of sick. That's really strong too as you guys can see. It just gets stuck onto this camera. But we also get um, a threaded base on the bottom like I mentioned earlier which you can utilize this screw thing um, to actually screw into this um, camera. And then the last Last few things we have is it looks like this is a micro USB to USB A cable. It's a pretty long cable as you guys can see and you use this to charge up this battery. Um, it says this battery should last you up to three to six months so you shouldn't have to utilize this cable as often so that's pretty solid and then it looks like we have some user manuals and guides at the bottom right here so you guys can see we got a product service card so you guys can reach out to them and stuff and we also get included with this quick start guide as you guys can see gives you guys a lot of useful information about how to utilize this camera and it will give you some troubleshooting tips and also like you know how to install the app how to pair up this camera to the application so you can get it up and running so what I'm going to do is kind of move everything off to the side and only take out what we need um, to set up this camera All right, so let's actually power up this security camera and then what we're gonna do is actually pair this up to my phone. So if we flip it onto the back side, I did show you guys there is a compartment right here. And I'm guessing if we hold down this power button that's on the side right here, this camera should turn on. I do see like a faint red light flashing. I'm gonna set this camera down and I'm gonna proceed to connect this to my phone. So right now you guys should be able to see my phone screen. We're gonna open up this application which is Team Life, which you could get on iOS or on the Android Google Play Store, will allow access, and this is how the application looks like. You're going to need to set up an account or sign in through this application, and once you proceed to put in your details, it will take you to like this home menu um, screen for the security camera. And what we're going to do is actually tap on the plus sign. We're going to add a new device. We're going to do battery camera in our instance. And it says hold the uh, device power button to start the device, which we already did. And the light will start flashing red, which I already did and showed you guys later on or earlier in this video, I should say. So after you get to this step, you just click on next. And from here, I'm guessing it says, okay, please hold the reset button on your device for four to five seconds and wait for a flashing red indicator light. So there is a reset button on the bottom side of this camera um, so let me actually hold down this reset button and now it's starting to flash red I don't know if you guys can see it with my bright studio lights but I'm just gonna face this on to you guys we're gonna click on next now and now it's gonna ask me to select your Wi-Fi network to connect to okay so now it says please remove all the film that's from the lens and then tap next and it's going to show you a QR code that we're gonna be utilizing to scan to this security camera and keep your phone about five to eight inches from the lens so we're gonna click on next and now what we're gonna do is scan this QR code and I hold a notification tone so we're gonna click on next and now it's saying connect to network so now we just have to wait a few moments here and it's gonna uh, find the device connect it to the network and then it's also going to register the device so let's wait and see and I'll come back to you guys once this is done and it looks like it found the device you guys can see it says device found and you can go in rename the name we'll just keep always the same name and we're just gonna click on done but you guys can see that is the live view of this camera we're gonna face it on to me though so right now you guys can see this is how the camera looks like and it does doesn't look too bad. Um, we do have a lot of different controls we can actually configure with this camera. Um, you guys can see you can take screenshots, we got intercom, we got record, motion detection, and we also got our album. You can go and rename the camera like I said earlier. And this is all our different settings of this camera. You can receive alert notifications, you can share the device, you can look at device information, you can check the installation guide, the base function, power saving settings. Like like, you know, you can go in and change how long you want it to actually shoot um, uh, scene or whatever it captures, which is really nice. We also got motion detection. So if you want to change the sensitivity of that motion detection, you can do so. And 
and you could also do an elope plan. So if you want to, you can set it so like if it detects motion at this time period, it can send a critical alert to your phone. Let me go back. We also got recording management. So you can change how long you want the recording to take place and you can store it on an SD card um, that is, you know, that I showed you guys earlier in this security camera. And we also got cloud storage uh, service so you guys can try it free for seven days or you guys can purchase it if you want to use that form of um, saving all your footage. So let's go back. Um, we're gonna take a look at just a few different things. So we got live, we got history. So you can check and check back the history so you guys can see. Um, I think this was, okay, so since I don't have any SD card actually inside this camera, it can't actually save anything right now. We also got cloud. So I might actually put an SD card in here in a second so we can actually start saving footage. But overall, the camera doesn't look too bad. The quality is pretty decent. You guys can see my Wi-Fi is at 90%. The camera is at 100%. And it's doing a fantastic job of just filming me. The quality doesn't look too bad. And yeah. So let me take a screenshot and let's see where that saves to. And you guys can see, I'm guessing this was saved directly to my phone's um, storage. We also got intercom mode, which we, I'm guessing allows you to talk to the camera, or it could be both ways. I might be a two-way talking thing, so let's uh, click on it. It looks like you need to hold it down, hold to talk. And since I'm close to the camera, you guys can see, I can talk into my phone and it will come out of my camera speaker. So it's not too bad, um, but you can use that um, to talk or um, talk to whoever was in front of the camera. So that's also a pretty nice feature that they implemented into this security camera. And we also have the record functionality. So if you wanted to, you can start filming. So let me click on the record button. And right now it is recording whatever the camera's capturing. And it is, I'm guessing it's gonna save directly into my phone's album. So now I'm gonna click off the record button and it's gonna start recording and it's gonna save directly into my phone's album. We also got motion detection. So right now it looks like motion detection was on during the duration of our test, but I just turned it off. So if I turn it back on, each time it de you know detects motion, I'm gonna get an alert on my phone telling me, hey, we got some um, motion being detected around or in front of this camera. So uh, it's pretty nice. You can also go in and change your camera's quality. So we actually had our camera in uh, standard definition, but you can go all the way up to high definition. So let's go to high definition because I want to be able to capture criminals or whoever's in my property at really high quality. And then we also, um, with the security camera, you can go in and um, make it so it's full screen so you can actually see it on your phone. But since I'm doing a demo, I am not going to do that. There is one last thing I do want to test out with the security camera and that is the infrared night vision. So let me turn off all my lights and get back to you guys. So you guys can see this is how the infrared night vision looks like with this security camera and honestly it doesn't look too bad uh, i'm looking directly at the camera right now and there's actually four individual like you know led censoring lights that this camera comes equipped with so honestly the camera quality of this camera isn't too bad you can easily use this in the nighttime to capture criminals or people who are just you know on your property easily with this camera and this camera is doing a decent job of actually retaining a lot of the quality so overall, I am pretty happy with the results of this camera. So, what are my final opinions and remarks about this Heme Vision Freed? three um, battery powered security camera. I think that this security camera is pretty fantastic. You know, it does, you know, supply all the different features that a lot of traditional security cameras have on the market. The only plus to this camera is it is battery powered. So you do not need to supply this security camera with constant power. You know, I was reading that this battery should be able to last most people three to six months. So don't worry, have to, you know, you don't have to really worry about keeping this camera charged
charged up um, periodically, especially if you set this camera in a position where you can't really access it. But that is going to conclude our video for today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this tech reviews and gadgets episode. And if you guys did, make sure you guys go down below and hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications on to get updates and a little to know we do upload. Have any questions or concerns about the security camera? Make sure you guys go down below and leave a comment as I reply and read every single comment I do receive. So if any inquiries whatsoever, please feel free to ask me in the comment section. And then also, if you guys did enjoy this video after watching it, I would greatly appreciate it if you guys went down below and left a like as that just greatly informs me and keeps me updated if you guys are enjoying this tech series. If you're a business owner or a company owner interested in wanting to work with us, our business inquiries email is createlyt.com. You guys can shoot me a message if you want to potentially work with me or if you guys need any assistance with this product, you guys can do so by contacting me through my business inquiries email. And then lastly, if you guys actually want to check out this product or get more information about this security camera, product information and details will be down below in the description for you guys to check out alongside with all the specifications and information if you're interested in that kind of info. You do also get the ability to actually hook this security camera up to solo, uh, to a solo panel, which I'll also include in the description for you guys if you're interested, um, that the company has actually manufactured that you can utilize with this exact model. So that's really nice if you want to utilize a solar panel instead of you know having to rely on charging up the battery every so often, you can also do so with this security camera. But that is going to conclude our video for today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this tech reviews and gadgets episode. I know I've been making it and I'll see you guys all on the next episode. Clearly signing out. Thank you guys all for watching and have a good rest of your day.